Pickle Jay Badger! Oh, Sean, come on. We've got to meet him. As you wish. Hello, Jam. I'm so pleased you could make it. Well, Kimber would never have forgiven me if we hadn't have come. Why do the French always have to overdo it? Francois, we're most honored. But did you have some special reason for inviting us? You are the reason, Jam. I am very concerned about your movie career. Concerned? Why? Howard Sands has been wonderful to work with. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Sands is a fine man, but his films are just so, uh, so... Uh... Popular? Exactly! His films are so popular! They appeal to the masses! And that's not good? No, no, no! It's horrible! Take me, for example. My films represent a vision. My singular vision of the world. Can't you see? You can only win the Oscar if you prove to the Academy members you are a serious artist. I see. And how do you suggest I show them I'm serious? <laughs> Simple. By appearing in a Francois Trouget film. Wow. Wow. Mr. Trouget, I'm very flattered. Perhaps after I finished Howard's film, I can... No! It cannot wait for you to finish. My film begins immediately. Jem, appearing in a Trouget film is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But I can't desert Howard in the middle of a production. I've made a commitment to him, and I have to stick with it. I see. I hope you do. I see you don't care about your budding movie career. Have a good time at the party. Oh, I knew he wouldn't understand. Well, come on. He invited us here. Let's Jim have a good Rio, time. Join the party! Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> I could really get used to this kind of lifestyle. Jim, come quickly. You should see this. What's going on, Rhea? Francois is meeting with some newspaper reporters, and they're talking about you. So you're saying there's absolutely no truth to the rumor that you asked Jem to appear in your next film? Absolutely none. But the rumor is you asked Jem to play the lead because you need a commercial star to help your box office. As you know, I do not cater to the whims of the American public. Perhaps Jem's own publicity machine started that rumor. <laughs> I hate liars, and I hate deception. So you can imagine what I think of you! Thanks, Rio. Come on, we're leaving. You can't trifle with me! I am artist reincarnate! Do you hear me? I'll ruin your career! Sean, do you think Francois can really hurt Jem's chances for winning the Academy Award? I don't know, Kimber. I wish I did, but I don't. Oh, come on now. Cheer up. Either way, it's not the end of the world. Sean, where are we? On top of the world. Come, me darling. All of Hollywood is stretched out before you. Oh, Sean. <laughs> You're such a romantic. You're so sweet. You brought me up here to take my mind off Jim, didn't you? That's right. It was totally altruistic on my part. But seriously, are you sure Jem was right not to give up Howard's film? One's got to honor one's commitments, Kimber. And hold on to what one cherishes. Oh, Sean, you're terrific. Kimber? 
Yes, Sean? I think it's time we made more of a commitment to one another. Oh, Sean. Come on. I can't wait to tell Jerrica. Tell of what? That we're engaged. Engaged?